think if that's all you did and you just did that like two times a week, you would totally see awesome results. Hello my friends, how are you? My name is Connor, thanks for watching. Today we're talking about exercise. I've gotten a few questions recently, maybe the most asked question recently, when am I exercising as I'm eating OMAD? One meal a day, where am I placing my exercise? So in this video I wanna talk about the placement of my exercise throughout the day, how often I'm doing my exercises, and what those exercises actually look like. So for me, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know already I'm eating one meal a day, which is eating basically within a certain confined amount of time. I'm also sometimes restricting my calories somewhat. So I'm eating between 1750 and 2000 calories. Sometimes I have a meal that's maybe 2200 calories, but for the most part, I'm sticking between that first caloric range of 1750 to 2000 and I'm eating that within the time period of roughly two hours. Recently, I have really pushed myself to eat within a 60 minute window and I've had some great results with that and I will share more about that in the future. But for the most part, rounding it all out, it's about a two hour eating window with a 22 hour fasting window. Also, if you've watched my other videos, you know that Many people who are eating one meal a day eat in the evening. I am eating in the afternoon. The latest I will start eating is one o'clock. The earliest I will start eating is 11 o'clock. So my window again is roughly two hours. So whenever I start, I end in about two hours from that time. So 11 to one, 12 to two, one to three, some something like that. There are great reasons that I choose to eat that way. There are also great reasons to choose to eat in the evening and I might play around with adjusting my time window into the evening and I will keep you posted on that. But for now the question is when am I exercising based around that time frame. Knowing that I am eating this relatively large meal within a two hour window in the afternoon, when am I exercising? I am attempting to exercise roughly every day. And even if that's only for 10 minutes, I think it's a very good idea to get in a little bit of intense exercise, get the heart rate up a little bit, get the muscles starting to work before breaking your fast. That's going to get your body most excited and in the best state to absorb the nutrients that you put into it. So I've made a video about the elixir that I have. That's the first thing that I have after uh, breaking my fast. It's the very first thing I consume that has calories after a 22 hour fasting window. And I like to exercise right before having that elixir. I think that all the elements in that elixir are able to do what I in have intended them to do, to serve their greatest purpose best if I can get in a little bit of exercise. Most often, I do maybe 20 to 30 minutes of exercise. And most often, that is some sort of three-part circuit that I repeat about three times. And I love doing these workouts with my partner, Brittany. You've probably seen them if you follow her on Instagram. She posts them a lot. I do that sometimes, but I'm not quite uh, as on top of posting in my story as she is, so maybe you want to subscribe to both of us to see more of that. But you can check out some of the workouts I do at Connor Moves at, uh, on my Instagram page. A lot of those circuits include things like push-ups, pull-ups, a handstand workout, squats, jump rope, something with those stretchy bands, the resistance bands. So we tend to do three different types of exercises in a circuit of three. So repeating each exercise three times. That tends to be pretty great. That's a very good workout. I think if that's all you did and you just did that like two times a week, you would totally see awesome results. I'm trying to do something like that every day, but it's okay, like I said, if I just do five, 10 minutes of a workout before I break my fast, I still feel like, okay, cool, I'm in a good place to consume nutrients, to consume calories. In addition to those workouts, one of the best forms of exercise I get is in the form of play. And again, this is with Brittany Taylor. We have a, a what I consider to be a fantastic partner acrobatic partnership, and we both just love playing. 
and we happen to get a great workout when we play. So if you want to see more about what partner acrobatics looks like, you can check out my Instagram. Again, that's Connor Moves, and you can see all the fun stuff we do. We do standing acro, we do L-basing acro, we actually teach all around the world this stuff, and we've been doing it together for several years. It's a fantastic workout, and sometimes we will do some acro before breaking our fast, but most often I'll do that little workout that I shared with you with the circuits. I'll have the fast, maybe I'll take a nap or I'll just like chill for a couple of hours and then later in the evening we'll do some acrobatics. And I'd say we do acrobatics anywhere between two to six times a week. So somewhere in between there, it all averages out to maybe three, four times a week. But the time, the amount of time that we do acrobatics could be 30 minutes or it could be three, four hours. Maybe that's not straight acrobatics three, four hours, but we go to a jam where there's a bunch of other people doing acrobatics and we hang out there and we do a thing and then we maybe chat or we show someone a move and then we do another thing. Maybe we learn something and then we do another thing. So we're kind of getting this exercise in in a pretty intense way for an extended period of time. Many people have asked me, don't you go to the gym? Don't you lift weights? Don't you do this? Don't you do that? Uh, I really don't. You know, this is the, this is the only stuff I do is body weight exercises and acrobatics. And the body weight exercises are actually something new that I've incorporated only since changing my diet to OMAD, to one meal a day. I can say that I love the calisthenic stuff. I love the body weight workouts. I totally recommend it. You, there's so many variations of things that you can do and I just make it up as I go. So I'd love to invite you along in future videos to do a workout with me. If that interests you, Give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments and let me know, that would be really helpful because I'm excited about maybe doing that, but I don't wanna do it if you don't care. The other thing that I would really encourage you to do in your exercise journey is to find something you love. I love acrobatics and when I do it, it doesn't feel like a workout, doesn't feel like punishment, doesn't feel like exercise, it just feels like a magical, fun experience I get to share with someone I love. So I would really encourage you to find things like that, rock climbing, going for a walk in the woods, uh, if you happen to enjoy push-ups, then do your push-ups. But if that doesn't feel that fun for you, maybe finding something that actually enlivens your heart. Because at the end of the day, it's not gonna make a difference if you've got all this awesome lean muscle on you if you're not enjoying life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I will see you next time. Much love.